Hello everybody, Floyd Ian here and today I'm going to be doing a vinyl collection update for you guys. Um, and recently I have purchased some pretty awesome um, records, all colour records, um, believe it or not. Um, and I thought I'd just do a little collection update on it all for you guys. And it is not just Pink Floyd in this video, it is different mm -hmm. bands as well as Pink Floyd at the very end. The first band I'm going to start off with is a band that is probably my second favourite um, uh, Pink Floyd at this moment, and that is Kraftwerk. Um, recently been getting really into Kraftwerk recently, and it's safe to say that I've had a very interesting story with them. A while ago on eBay I purchased this uh, CD copy of Radioactivity, really liked it a lot, but never really explored them um, any further since. Uh, then, very good album I would say, this is very sort of uh, dark and moody, um, I would have said, um, but yeah, I sort of left it at that with Crawford for quite a while, and then I had the absolute privilege of seeing them live in Belfast a couple months ago, um, with, which was on the whole 3D tour, where, um, they were playing music and you actually had to put on 3D glasses because the visuals behind them were in 3D which was awesome and I had the time of my life at that concert, it was absolutely fantastic and after that I picked up the CD reissue of the Mad Machine which has gone on to become one of my favourite albums of the time I think this is just absolutely fantastic and um, yeah even though I do really like um, uh, radioactivity as an album. Um, I prefer uh, mm, this other app, um, this album, and another one I'm about to show you. As in my opinion, they're a lot more catchy and engaging than Radioactivity. Um, radioactivity is not a bad album. I just prefer other albums that list that. But for the Kraftwerk vinyl that I got um, recently, the first one that I'm going to be showing is Autobahn. Um, pretty much like Kraftwerk's most iconic album. Um, yeah, I have not listened to this yet, um, as I only just got it today, but I am super looking forward to listening to this. Then for the interior, we have no inserts, um, and then here is the record itself, with this very sort of uh, psychedelic sort of um, uh, spiral on the A side. And then there's the label for the B side there, and you can see it's released from Ver Vertigo Records. This vinyl itself is on a very nice, uh, smoky, um, electric uh, blue. It's sort of light blue with um, darker shades of blue thrown into the mix. It's a very nice and fitting vinyl colour for this album to be on as you know Kraftwerk is uh, I would say the Pink Floyd of Electronica personally I think they're just absolutely amazing and I am looking forward to listening to this album I have not listened to it yet but I am super super excited uh, to listen to Autobahn and I did hear um, a shortened down version of the uh, 22 and 30 second title track when I saw them live and I thought it was great, really, really catchy stuff. Next up we have Craftwork, Electric Cafe. Um, yeah, this is the one that I've listened to and I will say this is, I've been listening to this once, but it's already one of my favourite albums of all time. This is just a short, punchy, catchy, fun, techno pop uh, record, no pun intended, but seriously that's what Craftwork is, and they are techno pop. Um, yeah, absolutely fantastic album. It's only 35 minutes, 38 seconds, but it's just absolutely fantastic. This particular record comes with a very nice insert. On this left hand, on this side, you have sort of a holographic sort of um, side, or sort of a holographic version of the band performing, um, with various uh, sort of uh, notes and stuff on the album there. And on the other side you have a sort of rendition of the album cover, but on this sort of very um, geometrical, um, wireframe-like 
uh, rendition of the album cover, I am considering framing this uh, this side because this looks absolutely amazing. And I think it looks absolutely amazing just above my uh, record player, just there. I think that will look absolutely fantastic. The, uh, the colour arrays of vinyl in this video continues, and I've got to say, out of all of the ones that I will be showing in this video, this is probably the most interesting. This vinyl in particular, and um, there's side A, no, there's side A, side B, got a bit of a hole in the label there, um, as you see a little rip in the label, but I'm not too bothered, basically amazingly. The colour of vinyl is this really interesting, um, sort of smoky, uh, salmon pink, transparent, it is a really interesting and bizarre colour of vinyl that I can't really easily describe, it's got these lovely smoky sort of wisps of lighter shades of pink, it is an absolutely fantastic uh, looking record and is easily the most interesting piece of coloured vinyl I have in my entire record collection, which you can see back that's what I have uh, records at the moment, and everything above that is a uh, joint collection of my parents. Yeah, Craftwork Electric Cafe. Seriously, one of my favourite albums of all time. It's fantastic, absolutely great album, and I look forward to listening to it a lot more. Next up, we have something that is brand new in the factory ceiling, and I will be opening it up for you live on camera. And that is the Radiohead OK. this album before and it is a great great album I honestly don't know why but for quite a while I always found this to be an extremely um, overrated album for some reason um, I always preferred uh, Radiohead's Kid A and Burn, not Burn the Witch um, A Moon Shaped Pool I always preferred those albums um, as my favourite Radiohead albums over to this one for some reason. I found I just found this to be extremely um, overrated for some reason. But recently that sort of swaps around with my favourite Radiohead albums now being this and Kid A. I like quite a bit of what uh, is there on like the first sort of part of um, A Moon Shaped Pool but afterwards after the sort of halfway mark um, sort of around the Tinker Taylor Soldier Sailor Spy um, track, I can't remember the full name, but around then it's sort of dips in quality for me. The out then there's the front, the spine which is quite a thick one as you can see, then there's the back, uh, this is, if I was to get the label, um, limited edition blue vinyl triple 180 gram LP containing the original album on two discs, three unreleased tracks and eight B sized all new all newly remastered from the original analog tapes includes a download code. Which I'm just gonna see if I can find. Because I don't want to be showing that on camera as I might want to use that. Yeah, uh for the final I'll probably fix it out. But yeah, this is very interesting. It's not like a traditional uh triple gatefold. I'll just show you an example. Here, if I can get this album out. Here's a traditional example of a triple gatefold. This is Daft Punk's Alive 2007. As you can see, it sort of opens up like this. Whereas this album is a bit different. Um, it sort of opens up like a book in a way. So then they've got some lovely sort of artwork from. Uh, the sort of album, then it sort of opens up like a page of a book, sort of thing like that. You can sort of get a better way to get to what I'm on about. Um, and then there is more sort of nice artwork um, from the sort of release. Here you've got the inner sleeve, uh, size A and B. 
uh, the birth record, as you can see, sort of cyan coloured, and it's got no um, uh, sort of indications on the label as to which side is which, which is annoying. So I'm going to have to look at the dead wax to sort of identify that because it does say like the side name uh, on the sort of dead wax just about here on either side as to whether it's side A or side B which is the same with the next record that I'll show you um, and I'll next record release this is record 2 again following that sort of cyan uh, bluey pattern that there is to the entire release so yeah Radio's OK Computer absolutely fantastic album it's such an iconic um, album and I see the barcode in there, or oh, not the barcode, the download code. Um, yeah, don't think I really need to say anything on this album, it's just such an iconic um, sort of album for many people and I think it's just, I think it's just a great album and I'm greatly looking forward to listening to it as I've only heard this digit 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 digitally before. Um, as I, this is my first uh, sort of piece of Radiohead vinyl, um, as it were. I don't own any of their other albums on vinyl, and here I'm just going to have a quick look at the sort of. No, I can't get out. I can't get the uh, um, the uh, code thing out for the digital vinyl, but you can see it in there, hopefully. So yeah, there is that Radiohead. OK Computer, OK, Not OK, looking forward to listening to this a lot, has a lot of amazing tracks on this, um, Airbag is a fantastic opener, uh, Paranoid Android um, is a really sort of mad, um, proggy six minute song, then you've got Karma Police which is one of my favourite songs of all time and the awesome, no surprises with that rather um, iconic video of um, uh, the the Tom York um, with a sort of fish tank in it on it over his head and that sort of filling up um, with water over time. Anyways, the final um, piece of lovely coloured vinyl I will be showcasing in this video is something I hadn't even heard about um, until a few days ago, um, and I really don't know too much about this. This is Pink Floyd Inside the Wall, the Complete Wall Demos. Um, so yeah, I, I honestly don't know what this is to be honest. I mean obviously I know it's um, a uh, complete demo collection of the wall. Um, but other than that I don't really know too much about this um, to be honest. I do think this is rare but I'm not quite sure how rare it is. As you can see, this looks like it is a Spanish pressing. So yeah, and there's the interior again. A bit grainy, but it sort of adds the sort of character of it in a way. Um, yeah, I paid £20 for this vinyl record. Um, and I looked on eBay to check how rare um, this was. And I could only find one. Um, but that was a release where... It was two LPs like this, but both records were orange. Mine is a uh, disc one white, as you can see there, sort of milky, sort of white vinyl. And the second record is orange, as I'll quickly show you here. So yeah, I don't really know how rare or valuable this thing is, but. I am absolutely nuts for the wall. Like it's one of my favourite out. It's my favourite album of all time. Has many of my favourite songs of all time on it, and I am just looking forward to hearing how it shapes up in demo form, um, which will probably be very different, probably very rough around the edges. But yeah, this is a very interesting sort of collector's piece, and. As you saw, the labels are just completely blank, as this is a demo record, but on the dead wax it does say, um, uh, 
sort of um, what side it is and stuff. And there is sort of very vague sort of smokes and wisps and um, other colours in this. I don't know if you can see that, but it's ever so slightly smoky around where my thumb is, and you've got sort of a big blotch there, which looks like it's in the record itself. There's a scratch on this side, but it should play from what I've heard because apparently vinyls um, play even though they are scratched, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that pretty much concludes this sort of m massive sort of coloured vinyl collection update. Um, I'm not really sure uh, when I'll be doing another one of these sort of vinyl collection update videos. Um, my next video will be my Pink Floyd uh, CD, DVD and or CD vinyl and DVD collection um, which is uh, which I actually recorded before purchasing this demo album so this won't be included in that video um, but yeah, um, got forces buggering. I don't know. Um, but yeah, my next, I don't really know when I'll be doing another, um, sort of video like this, but it's been fun doing this video, and I thought I would just showcase you guys some lovely bits of vinyl that I picked up recently, all coloured, uh, vinyl. And so yeah, as I said, my next video will most likely be my, uh, Pink Floyd. Uh, CD, DVD and vinyl collection and as I said this won't be included in it um, as I recorded that video before purchasing this.